There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. into this real quick because I got some things I need to do. This wig is a either it's 18 or 20 inches and it's by a company called Icy Hair. Um, it is a lace front. It's a 13 by 6 inch lace front so you can do plenty of parting right here in this cap. You won't get a whole mess of parting on the sides over here but that's okay because you got all of this up here to work with. I did bleach and pre-pluck the knots in the unit and I did style it off camera. It does have combs in it and it does have an adjustable strap in the nape plus your girl went and put an elastic band in this bad boy. The lace color to me is like a medium kind of like it's an odd color, okay? It's a very odd color. It started looking like a greenish color to me, but we're just gonna see how it works out. Don't really like how they have the comb sewn right where the adjustable straps are at, so it kind of like limits you. You can only put it in one strap because they have the comb directly sewn on top of it. And even the straps are like this olive color green. The straps are like this weird color green. Try it out and see how it works out. So we're just gonna get into this because it's taken me several voiceovers to do this. So as you guys know, this is the part where it's really important because you want to make your wig look as natural as possible. So get yourself a good pair of small scissors, preferably curved, and cut the lace on your lace front. Try not to cut too close because you don't want any baby hairs to fall out. So I'm going to be creating some sideburn hairs like that, along with that, some of those wispy hairs. And I'm also going to be applying, as you see right now, some of the got to be Glam Force 48 Hour Control Hold. And I'm also going to be using some of the matching hairspray, which I absolutely love. And I will be trimming along those wispy hairs. Now I prefer to call them wispy hairs because they're not really baby hairs. Baby hairs are more stuck to your face and I don't really like that. But this part right here is really important to me so make sure you pay close attention. You want to make sure that you brush all of your hairs forward that you're going to be using as sideburn hairs or baby hairs. You want to brush those forward and you want to spray the hairspray as you've seen that I did directly onto the lace and try not to get as much of it into the hair because you don't want the hair to be too stiff. Now at this portion I am using some of the got to be styling mousse just to sculpt the baby hairs because it does not make the hairs too hard. And right here as you see I am taking my rat teeth cone and I'm using a very small dot of hairspray or excuse me of the gel as you see me right here and I'm placing that onto the root of the baby hair. The reason why I'm only placing it onto the root is because I don't want the entire baby hair or whiskey hair to be stiff or stuck. I just want to have the root stuck down so that way the baby hair Hair or the wispy hair can flow in the direction that I choose. You also want to make sure that you have some good bobby pins on hand so that way your wig does not lift up in the nape if you do not plan to actually adhere it down. So as far as the middle part, y'all already know I don't do that, but as far as the unit, it's very averageable, meaning this is a very average density. It has the good volume, it has a good length. So if you girls are looking for a wig that does not look too wiggy, then I'll definitely suggest giving this one a try. Plus, you know, it's affordable and the lace doesn't look that bad. I just was a huge fan of the actual color. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so dumb easy i just let it air dry the hairspray i let the hairspray air dry i didn't feel like going to get my blow dryer and this stuff dries super quick so i really didn't feel like getting my blow dryer this wig fits good like if it's snug i did not have to do anything extra i just don't like the fact that they sold the wig comb over the adjustable strap um slot you know what i'm saying the piece where you can stick them in I don't like the fact that they did that, but you know, it is what it is. I still was able to put it tight. Plus the elastic band helped a million times because had it not been there, I probably would have been kind of like screwed. So yeah. So the hairline, the, the lace color looks as natural as possible for my skin complexion. Like when you get into it, you can, you, you don't like, you can see it a little bit, but not as bad as like, it's not like a dark color. So it's good enough to where, you know, you won't be able to see it. But if you get up and like start digging in my head, which I'm not going to allow, then you will notice that it does have, it is a lace. But other than that, 
me, you know what I'm saying? Like it's decent. If you wanted to put it up in a ponytail, you can definitely do that. I don't do the middle part thing. So this is all kind of like new for me with the middle part. Well, not new, but you know, I don't really do the middle part, but I just decided to do it different like it ain't really different but you know i'll be telling y'all all the time i got like this long head yeah you could part it anywhere so being that i bleached the knots all the knots are naked or invisible whatever you want to call it you know me i like a side part a good side part i like to wear it on the side baby so you guys let's do the side part thing i want to apologize in advance for the color in this i'm still adjusting the color adjusting the color in my settings to my camera to my new bedroom furniture so it's been really difficult especially with the sun so as you guys see making a side part is super easy just get you a nice hot comb or you can also do the blow dry method but make sure you do some styling moves and this is what i prefer most a side part and she's actually really really pretty as a side part to me anyway you guys let me know which way you prefer it most so you guys, this is it. I put it on the side. You guys know how I feel about the side parts. Super easy when you got a hot comb. You can just comb it over and be good to go. But if not, you could definitely rewash it and repart it and just part, brush it on that one side and you'll have yourself a new part. So check out Icy Hair. I'll post all of the information below for you guys. I got to go. Got some things to do. I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love you, hunties, and I'll see you soon. I'm uh -huh.